don't know, y'all. They starting to roll up a bit. I'm a fucking sex symbol. She wants a lean. She wants a Gucci. I ride with some harness on me. I got a blue cheek. Pull up in a Jeep. I put it on for a Jeep. I want your body. Give me some cover. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cece, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you would stay, subscribe, and become a part of the Fashion Cece family. Today, I am going to be doing a product review on Saweetie's collab with Kiss Products. She did come out with a new edge control. She calls herself the baby hair princess. And as we know, our girl, she stays like her, her hair is never not on point. She did team up with them to create her own line of edge control. And it is the Kiss Colors and Care Edge Fixer Glued Max Hold. I'm going to be testing her product out to see if it works on 4C hair. As we know, Saweetie does have a very slick hair texture. Not too familiar with like the type categories in depth, but I'm pretty sure she falls somewhere in that type three hair range. And girl, our edges are not the same. I need a little bit more work than just water to slick my girls down. So we are gonna be testing out this product today to see how well it actually slicks down my hair. This is gonna be kind of vlog style as well because I do wanna keep you guys up to date throughout my day so you guys can see exactly how the edge control is working in comparison to, I'll put the card up here somewhere, my edge factor edge control, which you guys know that I love. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. We're just gonna go ahead and you know get started with our day and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, so good morning. I know I look crazy. I literally just took my hair out the scarf. Let's get that out the way because this is not important. Go ahead and wet my hair so we can go ahead and get this hot puff done and then we'll get to the real reason why we came to the video. I just want to show you guys something. I don't know if you can see, but this is the edge factor, edge control that I always use. As you guys can see, my edges are still slicked down from yesterday. So... The whole point is to see if Saweetie's edge control can also give me this effect because all I did was tie my hair down, but I did my edges literally yesterday morning and haven't done anything else to it. So my edge control of choice is the pineapple version. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if they have a bigger version of this because this is the only one they had at my local hair store. I like to just take just a uh, little bit of edge control and get it tacky in between my hands and put it around the perimeter of my head. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but I'm literally just building the product up on the back of my head. That's it, building. Now, one thing that I will say about this is it is giving me the same like wavy texture that I normally get whenever I put edge control on my hair. And I really don't use too much edge control in the front of my hair just because my puff normally covers it anyways. But I put enough for it to slick it down, you know? Yeah, diggy. Okay, sweetie. So far, so good. And it does have my hair laying pretty slick. So now do you guys see exactly why I didn't want to, um, why I wanted to kind of make sure I had my edges somewhat brushed out? I don't know how clear it's showing up on camera, but my girl is slick. All right, so now that I have my little lucky day curls going on, which, <laughs> Love him. 
let me go ahead and work on these edges, boo. So what I like to do with my edge control, and I'm not gonna do anything different than what I normally do. I like to use my edge control by pushing it down on the root of where I need my edges to slick at. This edge brush, I'm not even gonna show y'all cause I don't want y'all judging me. Cause at the end of the day, this is my hair. And if y'all feel like this brush is dirty, I'm sorry. But for me, I need a brush that has a little bit of build, build up on it when it comes down to like slicking my edges because honey, when I freshly wash these brushes and it has no product buildup, my hair does not lay the way that I need it to lay. So I'm gonna see if I can show y'all what the edges really look like. I'm gonna do a quick little face so I can go ahead and just throw on my little work fit and be out, okay? So this is what the edges are giving. This is how the edge control slicked my hair down. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show y'all what the back of my head looks like. Hopefully it doesn't look crazy because again, keep in mind, I have not seen it. Today is the 22nd, it is now 7-11. I'm getting ready to leave my house in a little bit. Just wanted to show you guys that because I am gonna be vlogging. The whole point of this is I'm going to document um, my day and show you guys like, you know, how well this edge control actually holds up on 4C hair. So the time is now 7.43 and I'm gonna show you guys. I just wanted to get on here and share my initial thoughts. As I did say earlier, I am going to be vlogging throughout my day so you guys can see exactly how the edge control is holding up. So, so far, so good. I like the fact that it had a good bit of tack to it. Um, it wasn't like slippery or just greasy like most edge controls typically are. And I love the way that it like slicked my hair. I also love the way that um, it laid my edges down. So I don't know y'all we're gonna see this edge control does state to be um, the max hold so we will see just how true this is and it's hot behind South Carolina heat. So I am gonna go ahead and head out and I will see you guys on my phone because that's where I'll be vlogging from. This is what the hair is giving. This is what the edges are looking like still pretty laid. All of that good stuff so what I'm gonna do, I'll probably check in with you guys in about a few hours so you guys can see how my hair is holding up. The time is now 8.19 and I will holla at y'all in a few hours and try to make sure I include more time markers, so. So hopefully y'all can hear me over this air because I can tell you right now, this content is not more important than me not catching a heat stroke. So let's just go ahead and get that out the way first this is what the edges are looking like so i don't know y'all they starting to roll up a bit it's not bad i could honestly probably like take a brush and slick them back down but i said i wasn't gonna bother them because y'all know i try to keep a little brush kit with me. but you know sweetie girl we not gonna give up on you because my edges do still look you know fairly decent for me to have makeup on and for it to be as hot as it is with me running my ears and stuff today, this isn't bad. So it is now um, 106. Catch you guys in a little bit. It is 731 and you guys know I got ready earlier today. So this is what my edges are giving. Um, it's not bad, like not bad at all. A lot of people just been creating products and just slapping their name on it and using their likeness to sell it, but this edge control is actually really good. I definitely purchase it again. I'll make sure I put like the website link and everything down below, but yeah. 
congrats sweetie on your collab the edge control is really good on 4c hair it did hold my edges for a majority of the day but that's all my thoughts that i have for testing out the edge control for the very first time today it smells good it had a really good hold on it it got my puff super sleek so yeah that is it thank you guys for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you all in my next video